he said, you know, my application's been in because he made reference to the new, quote unquote, crossing guards that he saw on the corner, which are the substitutes. So he wanted to know where did he fall in line for being hired. And when I talked to Chief Hills about it, when I addressed him about the crossing guards sitting in the chairs, he said that gentleman, he said he knew who I was talking about, and he said he saw his application. He didn't hire him because he had a past record. But he never addressed the gentleman to tell him that. Well, I, he never addressed the gentleman to tell him that. I, I, I know, but sometimes, you know, you, sometimes you, you know, maybe he didn't want conflict with, conflict with the gentleman right. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but what I'm saying is there are other, right, if you're going to do it right, right it's other you applications in there. You go through your application, right, you find someone's not qualified. You send they a letter to say, you send a letter saying you're not qualified, sir. Right. 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 Well, it's bigger than that. It's, it's a stack downstairs that's not being looked at. You just don't hold them in there and then add the person well, to the same thing. Well, we either got to tell these ladies that they're not substitute crossing guards or they are. That's the question that's in front of the board right now. And I, and, I, and I personally, I, think, I, I mean, I can't make a motion. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, I, I think we should. But what, 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 what's happening, I think what came from the board here is that the chief of police and the mayor are, are, are doing all this and, and council's not being involved. And, and to me, it's like... I mean, uh, my, Mr. President, I recommend, I mean, I know this came up in 2014. Yeah. And I don't know that it came up before September um, this year, but the same pattern emerged that um, I think what what would be useful for the prior moving forward is to develop a tickler system where, you know, you say these are the activities we do each month uh, and, and put in for the month of June, one of the activities is review who your present crossing guards are and decide whether or not you want to keep the ones that you have, hire new ones, and then do that through the course of the summer so that by the time September comes, council has, I agree, it should be council's decision to hire and uh, fire well, any staff. Should, I think that should be uh, explained to the mayor and the chief because they feel they don't have to answer to us in this case. They can make these decisions, they can take these actions because it's an emergency, and they can do it. And since they had they had enough crossing guards, but they did not, did not hire substitute in the beginning of, this, of the school year, which they should have had a substitute or two, knowing at least one of the women was ill, I don't think, this is not an emergency. It shouldn't have been an emergency. It should have been handled in, in June or July. Yeah, I, it, shouldn't, I, it shouldn't come into like, October. But but I, I can't. I don't know about Mayor Blue, but I, I can talk to Chief Hills and 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 and, and have him kind of put in front of us a little bit. If we don't, right, the next question is. Chief has been in our budget. But if there's substitutes, I think you can't hear it. If there's substitutes, they're only taking place of someone else already made. So should there be a budget? Should not affect the budget. So we got we got to say that we either want these ladies to be the substitutes or not. And why did she fill the quota? Excuse me. Oh gosh, we got to get moving on this. It's crossing the arms and falls under the Allen Irons and practice. That she should have I, I, I feel that I feel that this wasn't done properly. I don't think it should have been an emergency, but I will make the motion to ratify. They're already hired, and we shouldn't. We didn't do it the right way. Okay. We didn't do it. The I, right I, way. I think what we have to do is do this June thing, and and, and, and we have to sit down with but the mayor and to, the chief. I think we have to address this with the chief and with with the mayor that they can't just do this again, and they have. This is the second time they've done this. Yeah. yeah. During the course of this. Because uh, I know there were a couple questions that came up about background checks and the child line. I did speak with Chief Hills. <clears throat> you know, I don't, I, I, I forgot who raised it to me, but about that he had, yeah, that he had hired. And I did speak to him and to confirm, and he did state to me he understood that, you know, he doesn't hire anybody. He, you know, he knows he doesn't have the ability to hire uh, or fire anybody. He just did. Well, I, I mean, I, no, no, I, no, I guess you recommended to the mayor, and you're right. I yeah. certainly yeah. think the best the mayor practice. Send it out. Best the mayor, practice. The mayor sent an email. Yeah. The, 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 I have the email that the mayor sent the mayor saying that he appointed Ms. Petty 
at least. I don't remember it. I think Ms. Brink was included that he appointed them pursuant to some emergency police power that he had. Well, yeah, well, that's what the mayor did. The mayor did that. Somebody needs to explain to him what emergency means. Yeah, I don't think there really speaks emergencies as what they were called I mean, for. I mean, but what, what we do have is we either got to say yay or no to these ladies. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that we didn't do it right, but I, I, am, I, I can't see firing these when it wasn't their fault that we didn't do the park procedure correctly. It was the mayor and the, and the chief that should have done it pro properly. So I don't think that well, we should, well, we should penalize these two women. Quarters, so I'm going to make yeah. the notion that we ratify them because I don't think they should be penalized for the, okay. for the mistake that was made. But I think in the future that we should not make that mistake. I, I, I think after hiring these three or these three substitutes, I don't think it's going to be a hiree anytime soon. Well, you might be surprised. There might be another emergency next year. Yeah, week. but no, there's no more quarters left. There's no quarters left. So the first matter you have is number eight. Number well, eight. I, I make the motion that we ratify the hiring of Janice Petty. Any, any second to that motion? Okay. Uh, any any discussion? We already, we, had we already had that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. aye. I'm only saying aye because that was a good explanation. Yeah, Martha, you did good on that one. I like that. I make the motion to ratify the hiring of Sarita Brink and the substitute crossing guard, Sarah. I, I second that motion. Uh, all in favor? Aye. aye. Anybody opposed? No. Yeah. No. Okay, we got one, another one. Go ahead. The one to appoint, we don't have, he's not working. So there's no necessary, it's not necessary for us to um, take right. number one until it's done properly. Okay, now I have a question on that one. Okay, so our two substitutes are now filling in for two people that are permanent crossing guards. Right. So this is going to be a third substitute because in case those two substitutes might be out. Correct. Yeah, but we're not going to be expanding the amount of people that we <coughs> The amount of corners. These are just okay. people that just fill in. Does this come through the through the uh, office? This one. I I don't know. I didn't I didn't see his. I saw Miss Petty's and I saw Miss Brinks. Um, he brought this one over today when I asked him to give me the information okay. for Petty and Brinks so that you could have an opportunity to vote on whether to ratify the are, are there two groups of applications out there? One across the street? I, I, I don't know. And that yeah. should not be. Yeah. I, I that, absolutely don't know. I, I think that's the only thing we have is the one I think what we should get is somebody should be like public safety besides the mayor. We did have Jesse, but he's resigning. If somebody gets on public safety, you got the mayor and somebody on public safety and keep a quicker eye on these crossing guard applications and things well, like I, that. I don't know. You know, I mean, I, I can do it, but if somebody else would like to do it, make my life easier. Perhaps what you can do is if you want to consider all the applications, I don't know how crucial it is that this person be brought on board this month or not, but to uh, have all the applications forwarded, you know, to council so that you can review all the applications and choose a person, you know, from that in whatever way, whatever manner you want. Just by looking at the applications, by doing interviews, whatever you want to do. And if the process is done in the summertime, it should be done in June. Right now we're loaded to the gills. At the beginning of the school year. Well, you're not loaded to the gills. Is that bad news? Two crossing guards. There are three crossing guards. They're out. Yeah. Two substitutes are filling for us. Now if someone else goes out sick, we won't have anybody. Well, then we got to hire this other lady. But, I mean, somebody has to make the motion. <coughs> uh, yeah, check the We're not saying this is, an, uh, or this is not an emergency right. hire, it's just a regular. So, why can't we go through the applications and find whoever has the latest, yeah. the, the uh, earliest date on the application and go from there? Let's do it the fair way. Mm -hmm. If someone had an application in June and someone came in September, why is the person in September unless the one in June is not qualified? So we should go by the date on the application and pick someone from there and go from there. Yeah. From the, the, the from the application that are downstairs in the mm. office. I don't care what's across the street. Right. What's downstairs in the office, where they're supposed to be. Why can't we go through those applications and see the earliest date on those applications and pull it and see if this person has all their credentials, what they need to be a crossing guard? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't That's think there were. That's the fair way to do it. When, when the school year started is when people started coming in with applications. I don't know that if there were any in before that. There may have been. But there was some confusion about when those two folks were put in as emergency substitutes, whether there were any other applications that actually had their, uh, what do you call it, their background stuff done. Um, I tried to understand that from Sarita and Dania, but it sounded to me like there were not any who had all their backgrounds done. Okay, well, do do, do you think there were? Yeah, she told me. All right, well, I'm going to have to ask her again, because I asked her about it. So the, because when the gentleman came in, she said it was a whole stack of them that they had. Okay. Yeah, but they were, they came in. But they had their clearances. They, all, they had all their clearances and everything came in. All right. They couldn't understand so why you hired a the, the, right. the, the question for the board right now is motion to appoint Deshaun Smith is a substitute crossing guard. We have we have to move on. Can, can we table that? You can do whatever you guys want to do. Nobody's made a motion. I Nobody's made so a motion, but I'm trying to. Item or? We can skip over it. We can skip over it and get back to it next it. month. All right, make a motion to table number two. Okay. Any second? I'm skipping it. I'm skipping it. You well, can just skip it. Just skip it. You can skip it. You can skip everything. Anything you want. Sometimes I go over the pages and yes. skip it by accident. Okay. All right. All right. We got to move on. I make more. a motion to accept the resignation of Jesse Brundage. Yeah, we we did have three resignations that were submitted. Now I. Uh, Want to, want to be perfectly clear, Mayor Blue, I did see a letter from Mayor Blue, and he rescinded his resignation. Yeah, he didn't write it. Now, did, did Paul Muser rescind his resignation? Yes, he didn't write it. Paul Muser rescinded his resignation. I have it. Okay. Now, Jesse Brunich did not rescind his resignation? No. Okay, so we have to make a motion to accept the resignation of Jesse Brown. I second that motion that Pat just made. Okay. <laughs> uh, any discussion on the motion? We just discussed it. <clears throat> Go ahead, Max. Yeah, can we do what I'm Excuse me? I said, I was like, yeah, we're doing what I'm She wants to table the motion. Uh, she got to get a second on it. You got to get a second on it. I can't, yeah. Table the motion just to clean. There's no second. No. No, okay. <laughs> so we're going to accept Jesse's resignation. Well, we got to vote on it. Okay, yeah. All in favor? Aye, uh, aye, aye. I think you might want to do a roll call on that. Oh, we'll do a roll call on that, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. President. Uh, yes, I'm going to accept President this resignation. Vice President Williams. Absolutely. This is uh, Van Alken. Yes. Vice President Williams. Yes. Vice President Williams. Okay, all right. Uh, I did uh, discuss with Alex, and I want to discuss with the board. I should have brought it up during his thing. Is it? He's going to try to get some numbers to get some basketball courts down by the uh, Pasaco Park. And uh, I'm not going to wait for. Uh, any grants from the state or the county because uh, I'm going to tell personally our state representatives came by mm -hmm. the workers a cup of coffee on election day so I'm not looking for anything from them okay so we're going to have to tell take me. care of the kids ourselves okay so I got Alex going to get some numbers to get some some basketball courts we're going to work with the comments and, and maybe coach Boykin because she wants to do something with AAU or uh, you know the, the the high school kids down there, so we can get these basketball courts things rolling. So Alex is going to get some numbers for us. I have a question. Uh, when we were having public meeting the other night, the gentleman that came up and spoke at the podium said that there's a problem with lights down there for the football. Uh, I know I had uh, Louis. Louis uh, when Paul Brown was bar manager, he went down there and he did a lot of stuff with the lights. And he has a bucket truck and all. And and if they had a problem with the lights, they're to call me up. Do they have lights? Uh, from what I know, they had lights. I didn't get a call. The only thing that I, I did with the comments was I told Andy Keegan to winterize the uh, the thing when when the time comes. 
And that's the last thing I did with them, but I didn't hear anything about lights not working or anything like that. Can I ask a question about the comics? Mm -hmm. Okay. How come the comics are exempt from doing anything that any other association come in here? We had a summer camp that was ripped to no end about no background checks. Uh, Why isn't the comics put on those same standards? Uh, Why are they exempt from having background checks uh, in the town of I could answer that question. I, I know, I know, I know, I know when I coach, I never so had a background check. So when something check. happens to a child down there, mm -hmm. I hope you realize the girl is liable. Well, and no one entity should have sole possession of anything in Colwyn. They have sole possession of the field. They won't give a schedule so we can rent out the field because no, they, they feel though it, they, they, they're entitled to it. The building down there, you guys gave it to them for one dollar for ten years, okay? But they're supposed to also, another Wait organization a minute, wants minute, to use it. The borough does not benefit from anything that happens down there, but we pay the light bill, okay. we pay the water bill, we cut the grass down there, and we benefit from nothing from down there. Why is that so? The, the, the benefit is that the kids play football. I, I, that's all I know. That's the benefit that they're off the street. And, and, and I know, I, I know financially, you Where's know. Where's the finances go? Because that's a profit making deal. Well, they're, they make they're, a profit, they're not non-profit. It, 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 it costs a lot of money to put those kids in, in uniforms. And those kids and pay for those uniforms, okay? They don't give them anything for free. They pay for registration and they pay for their uniforms, okay? Mm -hmm. So what are the kids getting for free? The coaches? Are those coaches down there certified to coach those children? Even down to volunteers, the child abuse clearance. Why is the comics exempt? That's what I want to know. Why is the comics exempt? If we want to go straight across the board, we need to go straight across the board. Everyone that do anything in here with children need their family. Everyone. Not just some people. Everyone. And that's a lot. Well, I guess we'll have to... Uh we can communicate that to the, yeah, I mean, I, I, to the yeah. team people, and if they don't comply, then we would tell them to use the facilities. Well, here's the thing. You rent it out for whatever they rent the field out for. Uh, the comments, no. If you have an party there, uh, yeah. whatever they rent the field for, whatever, $100, whatever it is, the comments <coughs> tell them they can't use the bathroom. They will open the bathroom. They tell them where they can be and where they can't be. Why? That's a revenue for the borough when we rent out that field. They're not paying us anything. And yes, I'm all for the kids. Don't get me wrong. 